the back piece. So what you do is this thing just pops right off right here. So pop the top piece off like that. Set it to the side. Then you got this piece. So what you need to do is hopefully you got a little small tool kit like this. And get one of your flathead parts out here. It helps with getting these rubber bumpers off. There's one. I just stick the flathead part of it in on the side and just kind of scoop it that way and then pull. Comes out easy. Do the same thing with that. Pull. That. Pull. All right. And this comes off like this. Be careful because you get your pieces with your wires right there. Which are right there. So what you need to do is turn it. And on the inside cover you'll see one, two, three screws that you have to take off. So get one of your micro Phillips heads here. Got one in my kit. Pull it back. You take these three screws off, and I'd be careful on how you do this so you don't lose these screws because if you lose them, then you gotta go find new ones. So and it pops off. So there's your old old ones busted. You can set that aside. The there's your little board. And what you want to do with your board is make sure that everything is still attached correctly. So so you got black and yellow going to ground. You got blue and red going to that middle part which says YBA I think is what it is I think that means yellow and blue maybe or whatever and then you got your white going to that bottom one and then green going to the middle top so that the top two don't have any wires going to it. The easiest way to orient this side when you put it on is there's your arrow right there and you look at this part and this is the wires pointing to the straight up so they both go the same way so that just goes on there and then straight on is where it lines up like that into the thingy so there you go like that so carefully you gotta flip it around like this be very delicate on the thing because you don't want to rip any of the connections off the board or anything like that so what I need to do is brace this somehow and that's a perfect thing for it right there I'm bracing it with the cover piece where you can put this in there hold it down like that then take your cover piece it only goes one way slide it on make sure you're not pinching any of the wires there take your screws and your screwdriver tighten them until they, tighten them until they stop you don't over tighten them alright there we go so there's the new piece on it. Alright, so the next step that I would do is you need to put these little rubber grommets back in here. And probably you need to put all four of them on there first. So I'm gonna use the I'm gonna reuse my old ones because I don't need the new ones. And you kinda gotta pinch it like this to get them to slide in. I pinch them like sideways like this, and then slide one side in and then slide the other side. You just gotta kinda work it. Here we go, got that one, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, now look at the other side, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, all right, so, little pins, which I would probably make sure that there was a one of these pins in each one of them, because this is ridiculous, it should have, you know, this, this thing should not come apart from your bird, because what it does is it rips those wires out of there and to be honest with you I don't think that's any good I would think that you would want um, it to not lose it I'm gonna put these upside down too so if it does pop off at least I can see if it will retain the that thing but I'm gonna put one of these in each four corners so I've got two in the kit and I have two that um, I have left over from my other one Okay, now I got one on each four corners. So that should not bust off again. So there we go. Let's go get the Typhoon 8 and see what we can do. Now as you can see, I got the Typhoon 8 out and snapped it in place. I just kind of slid it up there and pushed it all the way back. And it is locked into place. 
and and I will turn on my typhoon H. Let's see what happens. Hopefully this fixes it. Sorry about the glare from the light there. It looks like it's it's coming on. I've got a blinking red and green light on that, so that means that it's connected. All right. Good. Up and up and down is working. Boom. Nice. Up. Nice. My camera's back on. So there. Looking good on the camera. You can see me. And let's go with 360. Oh yes. Back up and running. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. There we go. Please leave fixed. any comments or questions in, in the comment section down below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And please like and subscribe my to my YouTube channel.